Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry, and I think it's time for some more Battle Brothers right about now. So we return to the first stone mercenary company, and unfortunately, times are hard, you know, money's low, it's only going to last a few more days. And unfortunately, in Lauenstadt there is only a two skull and three skull contract available, and our company is not ready for that. So alas, we must seek pastures new where work might be had. There does seem to be a general shortage of work in the area. So there's something up here. Might be something up there. There's a lot of stuff down south we should be trying to explore. If we can find some roads heading southwards. Problem is... Okay, there's a road down here. Meaning we could cut across. Uh, how are we doing for food? Yeah, okay. And... Uh, again, I've had to cut down on the game's music quite significantly because people complained about being able to hear me, so that's fine. But let us keep continuing. Now, this is dangerous. There we go. There's some music. Now I have a good estimate for the volume. There was an ominous silence, and I was starting to begin to wonder if all sound had failed entirely. Now, this road does come down here somewhere, but there's got to be somewhere. Something. Is this? Yeah. Yes, we can come this way. It's slightly less highland. Mate, you can walk on the grass. I clicked like here. Don't go on the rocks. I'll slug you down, you great big wallies. Right. So we need to up the company numbers by one or two. And keep pushing towards that roster goal. Again, we didn't get any of the easy goals at the beginning. It was most unfortunate. And somewhere around here... Look, the road goes somewhere. Right? So we shall find it. And when we do, hopefully we'll find employment. So, um, while we are stabilizing the company... Hey, you got a level. Why did I not do something about this? Um... 7% of resolve... Um... He does have good melee skill. His resolve is not so great. Let's see. That's a lot better. If I... If I don't put that free in there, he can get that from that. So if we get him the health and the defense, and then scourging. That will be interesting. And we will hang on a minute. Who can take the bandages in the back row? She's got some already. He needs a bit more protection. Talented and team player. I'll, I'll I want to wait to see what kind of perks he starts picking up before deciding if he's really valuable enough to keep. Because his stars are he doesn't have two stars on anything. Oscar is still doing fine. Heldred is doing okay. And this bloody road's got to be around here somewhere. There we go, that'll do. Follow it. There'll be something at one end or the other, and we've been to the other. In terms of prospects, please, dear road, lead us to employment. Let us have faith. We shouldn't give up entirely. You, there we go. There's a settlement. I bet they want us to hunt monsters in the woods and get killed or something. We aren't taking a four skull contract. No, 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 no. 
Oh, can we afford food from here? Yes, we can. Okay. We might have to sell this helm. Let's at least sell the javelins. There we go. We don't have need of them. We may need to end up selling the Nachzera brain. That's not ideal, because obviously we'd like to keep it to make something. But, hey. People need to eat, you know. They need to be fed. Um, how's equipment looking? Okay. Nothing too shabby. Flesh torn asunder, parts of man rendered unfamiliar, a copper stench in the air. These are the things you find when beckoned by a brother's call. Raoul the flagellant stooped over on a stump, his whole body unmoving save for his arm which flicks a grass and fawn peppered whip against his own back. A gargling belch draws your eyes to Oscar who is bent over in the tall grass losing his lunch. Sensing that he is disturbing the others, Raoul cracks something of a smile and doesn't falter an inch to the horror he's committing to his own hide. Fear not, the Reaper, Oscar. I shall bleed even more in favour of saving your soul. Well, he's gonna take some time to recover from that. Okay, this is good. There's trade going on. Which way are you going? You're going south. And those tracks are quite recent. Okay, so they're from this, so they're obviously recent, but it also implies that recently someone came from... Uh-oh. Uh Ten is... A fug... Only one poacher. You know... Eight rabble. I think this might be worth going for. If they don't go too far. If they go too far, we'll have to wend our way back to the road, but there we go. Engage. Right. Um, lady, if you can just hold up. Right, sir. I see a victim. Shoot a victim. There we go. Lovely. That's a good spot, and they can't quite reach you from there. We want to be getting up on this ground. Okay, that's a problem. It's all about this hex here. So, okay, so if you can get in there and... That's great. So the problem is them lapping around here, right? It would be really nice to get our second spearman there, but he needs to prevent them getting the nun, because we want her, yeah. So spear out and pray. And as we pray, we strike. Not very effectively, apparently, but so we do. Right. Here and shoot her because she's got a bow and is dangerous and now has been shot in the tummy. Excellent. Whip it good, as the 80s song says. Oh, he whipped it really good. Or well, as a more accurate phrasing might be. Right. Unfortunately, these aren't very trained, and we might be able to take their their dregs there off. Hmm. Okay, hop up on here, bash in one, fail, be disappointed, and keep it up. Then you get in there, stab him with a spear. I was hoping for a slightly more accurate stab, but I'll take it. Yeah, she's probably getting away now. We don't have the speed or manpower to catch her. We're coming in, trying for the stun, failing, 
very disappointed. Uh, I went for him because he'd be harder to chase down. He is somewhat nearer, which isn't saying very much right now. Okay, we can actually get to here. Let's do it. And we need to focus on our... Whoa! That's pretty bad. Okay. We can reach you. Nice. You could just get to here and stab. Right. Mate. You're not surviving. Oh, excellent! This is actually turning out rather well. It shouldn't. Right. That's that taken care of. Um, hmm. I tell you, this man leaves a charmed life. Leads a charmed life. He doesn't leave one. Although, now it seems the tides have turned. What is it with... Uh, no, I think we can finish this before he bleeds to death. This ought to do it. Then again, it seems my warriors have more training yet to do. Uh, how's he doing for bleeding? He's probably fine. He's stopped bleeding now. Okay. And this is a somewhat disappointing turn of events. Right, let's try again, shall we? There we go. So, we got a level and we got some stuff that we can start repairing with our extremely limited number of tools. Uh, okay. So we can get him Colossus, that's always really good. We could also get him Student, again, good. Nine lives, possibly. Uh, student would actually stack rather well with I mean yes yeah with the experience gained from talented so we want to get him a bit of skill a bit of courage a um, bit of defense and we will take students which means we will be looking for something slightly better to protect him with Okay, we've got two injuries to take care of. Um, let's get off the mountains if we're going to camp. What have I seen? What's the enemy? Oh, it's a uh, ruined farmhouse. Okay. Now, we have wounded, so we will assign both of those here. We'll assign the Holy Sister to tend to their wounds. Uh, injured shoulder, then the split nose, in that order. Everyone else to, hmm, is there anyone who's a good repair? 50. Okay, stick you there, and then gathering plus 30%. We'll send off Carlson to search for herbs and medicinal plants that may be of use to us. And then we will move. We didn't gather much, but we got going. That is not the direction of the road. This is the direction of the road. And that's fine. Actually, that shoulder injury is self-inflicted. I should have probably put that second. 
he's only likely to do it again. Right. Uh, time to guess. Probably south. I see a castle. That's a problem. Hello, castle. Can we sell you some rubbish? We really need the money. Oh, that is expensive. Oh, silks. Fine. <laughs> Makes total sense. Lady, we're not taking you. Does this road go on? Yes, it does. If we go too far south, it'll get too expensive. Let's go this way. We've bought ourselves a little time with the plunder from those brigands. But we're not yet really finding the kind of employment that we need. At some... We're hitting that unfortunate point in the game where soon we're going to have to take a two-skull contract and we're not really ready for it yet, especially if those early losses. During your travels, Oscar has taken some interest in Raoul the Ascetic's intellectual shortcomings. Oscar says that with some time we could teach a thing or two. Raoul can put one foot in front of the other and sometimes quite confidently, but you think that's about where the aptitude for all things comes to an end. Not only that, but Oscar has gotten easily frustrated in the past. Teaching the dumb cells or might just be an exercise in self-inflating ego, but I think it might be worth trying it. You come across Oscar and Raoul the Ascetic, starting at a patch of dirt, staring at a patch of dirt. Along the brown canvas, you see that Oscar has drawn geometric shapes, letters, numbers, and what look like constellations. It appears that they've been at this for hours now. A teaching stick in hand, Oscar madly points at one of the star clusters and, 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 clusters and demands to know what it is. Raoul the Ascetic, with a pained expression, guesses a sheep. Oscar snaps the teaching stick in half and kicks dirt all over the drawings. It's a horse! A horse! Oscar sighs heavily before marching off to the beat of endless profanity. Personally, you thought it was a crab. Well, that didn't go very well. Maybe next time in future. We're probably going to have to camp again sometime soon. But, uh-oh, that workshop means this might be another castle and it could even be in the other direction but hey hey it's a settlement with a free skull contract well we can't do that we'd better just leave what a shame I mean it truly is most unfortunate and um, yeah Maybe I got a bad map seed? I never know. Now, the bad sign, the bad thing about following tracks to a town that a trading caravan just left is that that trading caravan isn't there to hire us on. Oh, this is. It's not a castle. We're going to have to take that two skull contract. We just really need the work. There are people here. We can't afford any of them. Do we need food? Mm, tools. Oh, those are expensive tools. And expensive food. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Well then, let's see how bad this can get. When your, men, when your men venture around town, you go to a pub and take a seat. As soon as you do, a strange man joins you. You have the first stone. You nod. The man nods back, then reaches into his pocket. You reach for your dagger. The stranger puts out a hand. Easy there. I'm wearing a sword. If I wanted to kill you, taking a seat probably wouldn't be the best route. The man lifts the sheep and sheaf and it bumps the underside of the table. He cocks his head as if to say, see? You nod and the man continues with his move, taking out a note and passing it to you. 
A local councilman by the name of Alabrand, the trade master, wishes to see you. It's a delivery! Look, at least we get paid. Alabrand, the trade master's men, are standing around with a bit of cargo. Look, it, it's a job. We're happy. Uh, how far is it? 110. That's better be short. Okay, Dunkelwald. We've been there, haven't we? Oh, okay. It better be work there when we arrive. So, technically, it's a four gold crown. Uh, profit margin? <laughs> yeah, that's barely profit, because we're going to have to get food and tools and medicine and everything. Oh. Let's hope the journey... Well, actually, wait, wait, wait. If the journey does go uninterrupted, that's okay. If we get into a small scuffle and make some kind of profit out of it, that's even better. I have a horrible feeling that once we get there, there won't be any... We'd, there won't be any good contracts available. We're definitely getting into the Two Skull territory. Um, which means that since we can't really afford to take on the wages of hiring new members of our company, we're going to have to get some slightly better equipment for those that we do have. And in terms of equipment, I'm thinking it's going to be Garard who's going to need some... You know, he took a nasty facial injury. Um, Aventail with horned leather helm. I'm not sure. I mean, it's better than nothing, okay? If he takes any more knocks on the head, that'll help keep him going until we can get him something slightly less barbaric looking. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, they're on foot. That's fine. I thought we actually had wolf riders for a moment there. Okay, we see four out of six goblins. We don't know where the other two are. Uh, let's position the Holy Sister here. How's that for 57? Oh, that's not good. Right, let's take a shot at it. Shot? You can't get him there. Can you get here? Yes, you can. Okay, we got a hit in. That's great. Uh, that's not an entirely bad move. And then you can absolutely get over there and pray. Oh, no, 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 no. Poison is bad. Okay. Ah. Yeah, that's really bad. If you can get to here, you can't free him yet. Um, this is probably... Yeah, just move. Right. Get that shield up and keep it up, because that's a lot of goblins. Um, attacking... Yes. Can you break free? Yes. Just stay there then. And then, maybe... That's unfortunate. That was a good chance to hit. I'm going to risk it again. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Okay. Oh, end of a playthrough. We're dead. Fucking goblins. I'm just getting ready to end the episode as well with this simple two skull contract, but it never is simple, is it? Okay, let's at least get some revenge. Yeah, don't like this. Don't like this. That's terrible. Okay. 
Oh, of course, for poison. Yeah, he's dead. Let's uh, get him back. Nope, nowhere. Okay, fine. Can we at least get one kill before we all die miserably? Yes, we can. Excellent. And there's still one more goblin somewhere. It's going to take a minor miracle to survive this, except maybe not so minor. Get that shield up. Try to get that kill. Yes! Right. Okay, we tried. It didn't end well. Okay. There you are. You know, that's not so bad. <sighs> that is really unfortunate. Right. Oh, mate, come on. Give me a bloody check, you bastards. Right. Lovely. Well, nothing good's coming of this one, Ben. What a pain in the ass. Goblins almost feel like cheating every bloody time. Seriously, not enough? Not enough. Okay, fine. Uh, if we win this, it will be highly improbable. This job wasn't worth it. too much and we're not coming back from this now oh what joy what horrible shit I don't really like that at all I'm not very happy um, I probably need a break that was most unfortunate, but sometimes you just get no jobs, and it's really horrible and annoying. Well, that's the end of the Adventures of the First Stone. Mate, I left it a few days, hoped it would be good. Came back to it, and it was all just horrible. Oh well, I'll have to start another company and have some fun with them then. In the meantime though, I'm going to leave this one here. I hope some of you have managed to enjoy this episode, because I'm not particularly sure I did. But I'll look forward to seeing you in a future one with a new company. Until then, though, I'm going to say bye-bye for now, and see you all next time.